Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our Bible class this morning. I'd like to say welcome to the two and three year olds. Here's Sawyer, Bethany, Elena, Reese, Cadence, Rifkin, Brody, Liam, Gracie, Everett, Colton, Maylie, Madeline, Elizabeth, Maddie, Kennedy, Emmy, and Jess. And, and Elizabeth. Uh, oops, Elizabeth. All right. Welcome. Welcome. And I'll say hi to Avon and Lena and Cameron, Lucy, Avon, Caleb, Silas, and Kyrie. We are so glad y'all are here to, for our Bible lesson. Well, let's get ready to sing a song. We're going to sing the B I B L E. We know what that is Bible. We're ready? The B I B L E. Yes, that's a book for me. I love to hear the stories from the B I B L E. Bible! Okay. Now we're going to have our opening prayer. So, everybody, bow your heads. Let's get ready for our prayer. All right. Daddy. Bow your heads, boys and girls. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for all the boys and girls that are watching Bible class this morning. We are so glad you're with us, and we pray God for we pray to God every day for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have another song, and it's the New Testament books of the Bible. Everybody remembers that, don't you? Let's yes. try it. Yes, let's sing Here it. we go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and the letters to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. First and second Timothy. Titus and Philemon. Hebrews, James. First and second Peter. First and second and third John. Jude and Revelation. Good job, guys. Now, we have a new memory verse this month, and it's from 1 John 3 and 1. And it says, God's love for us is great. Let's say that together. God's, God's love, love for us is great. 1 John 3 and 1. And we also have a song about God loving us. And remember, it says, God loves us, God loves us, and sent his son. So let's try that. Ready? God loves us, God loves us, God loves us, and sent his son. God loves us, God loves us, God loves us, and sent his son. Okay. In our Bible lesson today, let's get ready for our story. And it's about a man named Saul who meets Jesus. And he's a changed man. Saul was one who did not like Jesus. He didn't like Jesus' followers. He was on his way to put some of them in jail. Suddenly, a bright light shone on his face, just shining out on his face, and Saul fell to the ground. A loud voice asked, Saul, why are you hurting me? Saul was afraid. He cried out. Who are you? The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one whom you are hurting. Go to Damascus and you'll be told what to do. When Saul got up, he couldn't see. He got up, he couldn't see. So some men who were traveling with Saul led him to the city. There's Saul right there in the middle and his friends were leading him to the city. Jesus also appeared to a man named Ananias. And Jesus led Ananias to Saul. This is Ananias right here. And he sent him to Saul. Ananias laid his hands on Saul and said, Jesus sent me to you. You may see again. He put his hands on, on Saul's face and said, you may see again. So uh, Ananias opened his, uh, put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see. Then Ananias baptized him. After this, God changed Saul's name to Paul. He was a new man. Instead of hating Jesus' followers, he loved them, and he too became a follower of Jesus. Good story. That is a good story. 
And just like Paul had Jesus sent somebody to help him learn about, know about Jesus, we can also talk to our friends about Jesus and thank Jesus for um, being our friend and our Savior. And we have another song that says, Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Ready? Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. And one more song. We sing God loved us and sent his son. We know God loves you. So we're going to say, God loves you, God loves you, God loves you, and sent his son. One more time. God loves you, God loves you, God loves you, and sent his son. Okay. Ms. J, do you have one more thing with the Bible, or we can I have a closing prayer or a book? I'll read a little on the same story that Miss Glenda told so well. So now this man is walking He's going to go find some people that were Christians, friends of Jesus, and put them in jail. Oh, oh my. So while he's on the road to be able to do that, a bright light comes along, blinds him. He falls to the ground. Oh, my. And a voice speaks to him. And Jesus said to him, why are you doing this, Saul? Oh, Saul, oh my goodness. Now he's blind. His friends help him up, take him into the next town, and he is blind. He can't see. So for three days, he sat and prayed to God that he'd been wrong. Then a man came, just like Miss Glenda told us. A man came named Ananias. Ananias said, Jesus sent me. And Ananias healed his sight, he can now see, took him and baptized him, and he was always with the Christians from then on. And then he wrote many, many books in our Bible. So he became, a, he started out not a good man and ended up a good man. His name was Saul, and now its name is Paul. Have our closing prayer. All right, you all bow your bow heads your and head. here's Lammy. Goodbye, boys and girls. Bye -bye. We'll see you next time.